Hello friends, this video on inverse trigonometric functions part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 9. Let's take some examples here. We need to find the value of the following function. So this is similar to what we have solved the previous example. The only thing is we have to solve 3, add this up and get the answer. So let me take this first part, tan inverse. 1. So let me uh, divide this into two parts, the whole segment. Okay. So the first part is tan inverse 1. Same thing I'll do, I'll assume tan inverse 1 is equal to y. What I'll get is tan y is equal to 1. Again, y I have to 1 I have to now write in the form of tan y so that I can compare tan tan and get the value of y. So 1 is nothing but tan pi by 4. Why pi by 4? Because pi by 4 only pi by 4 only because pi by 4 lies in the principal uh, interval and pi tan pi by 4 is equal to 1. We know that. So comparing these two equations, I will get y is equal to nothing but pi by 4. So I'll get y is nothing but pi by 4. And y is nothing but this guy. So tan inverse 1 is nothing but pi by 4. This value I got. Similarly, now for this one, cos inverse minus one by two. I'll assume this also as y. Let me assume this as uh, y dash because y already I took. So this becomes cos y dash is equal to minus one by two. So minus one by two I have to write in the form of cos. So this becomes minus 1 by 2 is nothing but you can say that 1 by 2 is cos pi by 3. So this becomes minus cos pi by 3. Or let's directly put the value here. Minus 1 by 2 is nothing but cos 2 by 3 by 3. This we know, minus 1 by 2 is nothing but cos 2 by 3. So the cos uh, graph is like this, cos 0, 1, like this, correct? So this is uh, 0, this is uh, cos 5 by 2, this is something pi. So cos 2 by 3 pi is something here, minus 1 by 2, this one. So this is nothing but 2 by 3 pi, this one, particular value is minus 1 by 2. So cos 2 by 3 pi is nothing but minus 1 by 2. Why we took this? Because this is my natural or principal uh, interval. So with this, if you compare this, you get y dash is nothing but 2 by 3 pi. So this guy is nothing but 2 by 3 pi. Similarly for this one sine inverse of minus 1 by 2 let's assume this has only one y double dash so what I get is sine y double dash becomes minus 1 by 2 here also we have to write the value of uh, we have to write minus 1 by 2 in form of sine that should be in the interval principal interval for sine was minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 Correct, so this becomes I think sine inverse minus pi by 6. Why? See, if you see the sine uh, graph, I will write like this. Sine 0 is 0, it goes like this, it goes like this. Correct, so this is minus pi by 2, and this is, this is 0. So if you see, I am looking for minus 1 by 2, it is somewhere here, and this is minus pi by 6. So this is minus pi by 6. So with this I can compare, y double dash is nothing but minus, so you can write this as minus pi by 6. So let's add all, does it to add all this thing? So this becomes pi by 4 
plus 2 by 3 pi minus pi by 6 and we add everything you get 3 pi by 4 and that is my answer. Please note here also please use the value which is there in the principal interval only. If you use some other value you will get two different answers that is wrong. So if you say 1 tan uh, 1 if you want to write it should be tan pi by 4 only. It should not be tan pi by, pi by 4 plus 2 pi. If you say 1 if you say for example I will say 1 is equal to tan pi by 4 and 1 is also equal to if you see tan pi by 4 plus 2 pi that is uh, 9 by 4. But we should not take this, we should always take this. Why? Because this is in the principal interval. Similarly for all these cos and sin also, we took the value that is in the principal interval only. Let's take one more example. We have to find the value of cos inverse 1 by 2 plus 2 into sin inverse 1 by 2. Very similar to same questions, very simple. So let's do this. We will assume cos inverse 1 by 2 is equal to y. So what we can write this as or cos of y is equal to 1 by 2. Same thing here. Now I can write by 1 by 2 in terms of cos. So I can write this as something but cos of pi by 3. Why I wrote like this? Because pi by 3 is in the principal interval you see cos function cos uh, 0 is 1 it goes like this correct and this is pi i so and this is 0 so I want to find 1 by 2 so it will be somewhere here this is pi by 3 so cos pi by 3 is 1 by 2 so with this I get y is equal to pi by 3. So this becomes pi by 3. Now we have to find sin inverse 1 by 2. Again let's assume this has y dash. So what I get sin of y dash is 1 by 2. Again we have to write 1 by 2 in the form of pi. So this becomes sin of pi by 6. Why this? Because if you see the sine graph, sine 0 is uh, 0. Correct? This is the graph. And I want to find sine 1 by 2. This value. So this is uh, pi by 2. And this is minus pi. By two. So this is my principal interval. So here I have to find 1 by 2, so sin 1 by 2 is nothing but pi by 6, you see here. So I can write this as sin 1 by, uh, 1 by 2 is nothing but sin pi by 6. So comparing these two, I get y dash as pi by 6. So this becomes, this becomes pi by 6. So our question is cos inverse 1 by 2 that is pi by 3 plus 2 into sin inverse 1 by 2 that is pi by 6. So what do you get? Pi by 3 plus pi by 3 and that becomes 2 pi by 3 and that is my answer. Very simple. Just try to understand first thing the values which you will take. The difficult part here is this one. For writing 1 by 2 in the form of cos or writing 1 by 2 in the form of sin. We have to make sure that the value which I am choosing here, this guy, is in the principal interval. If it is in the principal interval, we are good. Else, we have to change the values. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.